Building a lane chain app in less than five minutes with one of these? Is that even possible? Let's find out. To start with, we're gonna use Langflow. Now I know it feels like I just kind of led you into this, but this is the best thing you're gonna see all day long. Langflow is this really cool front end for building lane chain applications. The website, documentation, let's take a look here. So if you look at the docs right away, welcome to Langflow. The first thing is installation. Follow those directions exactly. And what it gives you is a really cool front end for LangChain. And that LangChain stuff you saw that you wanna do makes it super simple. And we're gonna walk through a really easy example to get you going. I've already done the install. This is what it looks like when you start it and you go to localhost, here it is. It's a blank canvas. So let's get something started here real quick. So I wanna say new here, start here, boom. Here's my blank canvas. And so I look at all the stuff on the left. These are things that I can do. Okay, so which one do I wanna use? Good question. I mean, at first, if you don't know what all these are, so let's just make it really basic and simple. I'm gonna walk you through a really simple chat app. A chat app has to have like some conversational component to it. And so Link Chain is built on chains. Let's go over here and take a look and see what's available. Now, what I wanna use is a conversation chain. Just real simple, not a retrieval chain, that's a different video, but just a conversational chain. Now, quick thing here, this is actual code. So if you wanna look at the code, play around with it, check and save, go for it. But this is the visual component of what's actually in LangChain. This should look super familiar because I've seen this before in other applications where you link things together. But what do we need to link here? Well, I think if I'm gonna do a chat with an LLM, I should use an LLM. So connecting that, hmm, let's take a look and see what's here. In the LLM section, there's a lot of familiar looking LLMs in here. And these are ones you may use already. Now you can pick one of your own. If you like Anthropic or you're using something local like an Olama, I'm gonna use the chat OpenAI. Now there's a different OpenAI, don't use that one. That's an older one, it's deprecated, don't use it. So use chat open a API. Now, once we do that, we get all the questions, right? The questions are like, hey, which one, which model do you want to use? There's a bunch to pick from. I'm just going to use the one that's in there. And then I've already pasted my OpenAI key in here. Click. Thank you for being hidden. And now we have this all set up. So it's a matter of instead of typing and writing some code, I just draw it out. Click. All right. And that's pretty sweet. Now I have this thing where I have a conversational chain. I have the chat with OpenAI, so this is the LM connection. Sweet, let's do it. Okay, so once I have all of this built and wired together, I have a really basic chat application here. So I'm gonna take a look, yes, this is what I want. Great, now, the button down here, once I check my flow, then I'm gonna just run it. This is a chat application now. So click, now I'm in a chat, so let's just try it out. and I get a response back from OpenAI. Yeah, I know, that was pretty boring, but this is a GPT-4 response, and I just made a chat app. Now, did you check your clock? We did it in less than five minutes. What if we wanted to add just one more thing in here, like maybe some memory where I can go back in time and say, oh yeah, remember when I said that? Let's give that a shot. And now we don't need anything complicated at this point. We can just use memory because we're just building a basic chat app. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. There we go. Close. Now that's something that we can do pretty easily. It's just using this memory. Now, if you don't know what to add here, what's really cool is that you hover over the little tab here and it says, oh, here's all the things that you can use. So for instance, conversational buffer memory sounds really good. Let's do that. These are available in the memories tab over here on the left, which I've already opened up. So let's do that. So I'm gonna open this up a little bit and zoom out a little so I can give myself some room here. And let's add one of these, conversational buffer memory. Okay, now, now that I've had this in here, I can look at it, let's take a look. Do, do, do. And yeah, this looks like the right one. Now I want this to be my just my history, right? History. And I'm going to wire it up right here to here. Perfect, we'll zoom out a little bit, make it all look cleaned up. Great, now I have an LLM, conversation, memory. Let's give it a check. Flow's ready to run. Let's give it a shot. Now, in this case, there's not a lot for me to say, uh, but tell me about your world. And of course I get the LLM response. 
Now, I don't know if you're keeping track, but so far this is still under five minutes and we've got a fully conversational chatbot with history and all this other stuff. Now I can copy and paste code blocks in here, do anything I want really, because I'm actually conversing with GPT-4 and it's just out of the box at this point. Now I could use any LLM in this case, I could use a local LLM, I could use maybe something in Bedrock or Vertex, wherever. But I just did this really easily and I don't think I touched my keyboard other than typing the chat in here. That's really cool. Now, you could do this too. Just go over to langflow.ai, check out the docs, download it, and give it a whirl today.